How's it going friends? Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're making a thumbnail and we're having a little chat. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this video. I don't know if I'm gonna even make it into a video, but I do know I need a thumbnail for my new video, which is about my, my warlock suffering and uh, in the end failing. Once again, of course, that's the main content we have right now. Just failure. So I wanted today to just uh, take you through the process of me making a thumbnail. This is how I've been making my thumbnails recently and uh, I'll also give you some uh, technical uh, pointers every once in a while. Maybe uh, people actually care about that. But um, first of all, I am going to import this. I'm using Blender. Hold on, let me let me go through the programs and everything real quick, okay? For whoever cares. So I'm using Blender. Blender is completely free, so you can just download it. Easy clap, just Google Blender. You can do this for obviously every character. You can just uh, import them from WoW Model Viewer, which is another free software. It's right here, WoW Model Viewer. You can just, uh, actually, you know what? I'll have a link down in the description if I do upload this to everything. I'll have one to WoW Model Viewer. However, keep in mind that WoW Model Viewer, if you're watching this at a later date, uh, they keep updating it based on WoW patches. So the best thing to do is to just go to the WoW Model Viewer Discord and they always have a link to the latest the latest one. And uh, I'm not gonna exactly explain how you can import these, but I will give you a, uh, a couple of links. Belvain, I hope I'm saying that right. So she has a bunch of tutorials on basically everything. It takes you from beginner to uh, not a beginner. You have to practice a bit. And uh, it teaches you the basics of Blender, how to uh, operate in it. And also what add-ons you need. There's an add-on that helps you import these with the skeleton, with the mesh. So I can actually, you know, move this guy, move him around. You know, I can move his hands, I can move his facial features and everything. I'll have a link to uh, the videos that are relevant. It's this one. She has videos on how to import literally <laughs> like pieces of the whole world with everything. Trees, buildings, everything. You just, you just look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole zone. She makes some really insane renders. Yeah, if you're interested, I'll, I'll have a bunch of links down in the description. All right, so on to this thumbnail. This thumbnail, I'm gonna be using this model. I kind of destroyed his neck in the last video, in the last thumbnail. So I'm gonna try to, f I'm gonna try to fix his neck. There we go. Kind of fixed him ish. Usually, it's good to have a concept when you make these, and I'm thinking something like him kicking a. Um, what do you call those? A slot machine. Maybe WoW has some sort of slot machine. So I'm gonna show you how you use a uh, model viewer real quick. Just load it up. <laughs> That's it. It's not that complicated. What's this? Uh, <laughs> maybe jukebox? Garrison jukebox is not exactly uh, what I'm looking for. All right. So there's a bunch of models online to pretty much anything you want, but we're looking for something free. <laughs> I'm not looking to pay $40 for a slot machine model. Now if you can't find a 3D model, we can also just Photoshop it because whatever I can't do in 3D, I just send to Photoshop. I uh, in case uh, yeah, some of the I'll give you guys some lore. I used to work for a publishing agency back in Romania that um, had the publishing rights for Maxim, InStyle and Playboy. Those are three big magazines, but usually people know of Playboy. So I usually just say I used to work for Playboy, which is, that's what it was. It was more than just Playboy. And what I did was I just did Photoshop, basically, image editing. Uh, how do I do this? Download. Let's see what format it has, because if it's a 3DS format, it's not good. Then I wasted time. Uh, it has OBJ, perfect. Import, slot machine, I hope it has textures. I mean, it is massive. Well, it has no textures though. We keep looking. I uh, you know what? We're gonna do something different. And we gotta think of a good pose. Maybe my undead is pissed and is knocking off a slot machine like this, like kicking it. Maybe you can see the slot machine itself, itself and it, he's like from behind. I feel like it's better if you can see his face. We'll make him really pissed off as well. All right, let's just make the pose first and then we'll make our slot machine as well. I'm gonna make him kick. <laughs> there's, uh, there's our kick. Like I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but that's just how I do it. His hands can be like in the back. You know what? Usually what I do is I look for poses. Angry guy kicking. Oh, this is a nice pose. Just have it like this. I, I like this POV. 
And then here, but how do we show it's a slot machine? Maybe instead of a slot machine, we have a chest. Because, you know, I'm opening chests. And then we can just have a wow chest. And it's, oh yeah, and it's open. So you can kind of see what's inside, you know? It's like this. And it's like shining. And I'm, I'm pissed off. Yeah! I like that. We can do that. And then I show you how to import stuff as well. Perfect. Yeah. So first, we need to put the camera. We need to put the chest. We need to get the framing done. We get the posing. Then we put it in Photoshop. And it's gonna be easy peasy. Chest. I need like a treasure chest. Ooh. Oh. It looks really bad though. I need a basic chest. Oh, perfect. Yes, this is what I wanted. Open. Oh, so good. Or is it good? Why is the top so big? I mean, I guess this is the best we've got, right? Oh, it's so bad. I don't like this. The head is too big. I'm being a little picky here. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, this one's really good, actually. And then I'll put some glow here. Now we're gonna export this. We're gonna export it as OBJ because we don't have animations. Go back to Blender. We're gonna import. It's a big boy. And something's wrong. <laughs> Something doesn't look right. There's definitely a bit of a problem here. <sighs> Why does it look like that? Shading, dark blue glow. Maybe it's this? Oh, fixed it. Okay, you know what? This is fine. We just go to modeling and we get rid of it. We get rid of the problem. This, this, delete. What is in here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the insides look bad. We'll, we'll fix that. Okay, we have our chest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him kick with the other legs so I, I match the thing better. Something like this. This is my camera, and now I can make two scenes, just like that. This one's gonna be the camera, so I can see what it looks like in the end. And then this one, I'll move my camera a bit. Okay, that works, I guess. All right, and now we start working on the pose, finally. We'll try to follow that pose, and we're always looking at this uh, window here. This is where it needs to look good. Yeah, kind of something like this. <laughs> he is uh, very mad. Okay. We'll definitely make him get him closer to the box for sure. Okay, so if the box is there, he needs to look like kind of that direction. Right, let's get him even more mad. But basically, you kind of get the point, right? This is all it is. I just, I just do this. I just do this sometimes for uh, way too long. And there's definitely easier ways to do this. There's like IK, which is inverse kinematics, where I'm not sure how I can set that up. Maybe it's possible. I mean, I'm sure it's possible somehow, but that's way easier to animate. It would be like, I would move this and it would move his whole arm and it would keep this restrained. But right now I can't do that. See, it just does this. I'm not exactly a professional to know how to set up an IK, but again, I'm sure it's not, uh, it's not too complicated. I just... I've never done it in this program, so I don't really know how to do it. Okay, we're not gonna give him a fist. Let's just uh, fix this arm, kind of. And I'll show you how to render as well. Spend all of this time here and it can look super bad. And then you just fix it in render and it looks so good. Or you can do the opposite. You can spend a lot of time here. It can look really good here. And then you screw up render and it looks really bad. But something like this, you know, I want it to be dynamic. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit as well. That will definitely give it more uh, more of an edge. But first, I got to move him a little bit closer because he is too far. So we're taking a look here. What's in frame. And we need to put him. We also need to tilt him a bit as well. All right, and now composition time. Composition wise, this is really bad because uh, he is super tiny. This chest is extremely big and there's a lot of empty space. So this is composition wise. This is a really bad uh, thumbnail. So it's time now to actually fix. So for a thumbnail, I kind of don't care to see the whole thing. I just want to see the main parts. I want to see his face. I want to see that he's kicking something and I want to see the chest kind of.
And we're gonna we're gonna like knock it over because he's he knocked it over. He's pissed. Usually I make their heads bigger. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, he needs a fist. This looks weird with no fist. Alright, there we go. This is way better, I feel like. And now we do the dynamic thing, okay? Where we tilt the camera a little bit. So we're gonna tilt it. No, the other... Uh, yeah, this way, actually. Like this. And now there's more room here for his head, so I can go in even closer. This is science, boys. The thumbnail science. Look at that. And now it's kind of like a perfect fit. I want to make it obvious that it, he's knocking down the chest. Oh, I can, I can actually make it like this and spill over. And there's a bunch of wrists inside, because that's all I've been getting. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Okay, I like this a lot. That's our thumbnail. I'm gonna save. And now we go into lighting. So with lighting, we can go here in Eevee. This is like a lighting preview. Oh, we're gonna make it look a lot nicer. So last time I did, I had like a pink background, so I have some pink lights. But now we're gonna do this, so... I feel like the light here, coming from the chest, is gonna be purple, because... Uh, if we're gonna have a bunch of purple wrists, it's an epic item, so uh, it's a purple outline, so yeah, we're gonna make it purple. I don't know why this chest gets, like, starts glowing there. I'll do a little cycles preview to see if that's the case. Don't crash. Okay, it looks good. Some purple stuff, like that. We're gonna make it maybe a little bit weaker. And change this from whatever this purple is to white actually what background do i give him where is he that he's pissed off where do i get those i guess oribos maybe i have to like a light like this a light blue all right he looks pissed and this looks great i'm happy with this um let's do like a quick render this is not the big render. this is, this is the, the small render to see what it what it looks like kind of okay i want his foot to be like more in frame like so i'm gonna give him like some sort of shadows I think this is fine. Okay, I'll just render it. Bam! His leg is clipping the chest a little bit. It's not really something anyone would notice, but sometimes I'm like, you know, if I went this far, I might as well just, you know, <laughs> deal with that. I want this light stronger. He's gonna have the, the Oribos thing behind him, so it needs to be like very bright. Okay, we're done. We're done, this is... Uh... I don't want to take you to down the rabbit hole. I usually end up on. Okay, perfect. There it is. Image, save as, save it. And we close this and we're done. And now we go into Photoshop. Let's try to look for some items. That's the icon right there. Would never forget it. I can show you this though. I've never used this. It was supposed to be for the Kyrian thing. Oh, this looks really good actually. Let's do a white background for now. Okay, and let's make this uh, chest drop some uh, wrists, because uh, we got a lot of wrists today. Like that. How do we do this? Copy it. We're going to rotate this one. Something like this. And then something like this. Maybe I went a little overboard. Maybe I put too many. It definitely ruins the aesthetic. I don't like this. This is I went too far. It's a thing that happens a lot. Sometimes thumbnail takes longer than the actual video. It is what it is. And we're also going to cut this one, make it look like it's behind there. Perfect. There you go. We need a nice little screen shot. This is okay. I could see him very being very pissed here. Now we just got to wait a little bit for all everyone to just clear. Clear. Okay, perfect. This looks pretty bad. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. Maybe it's fine. And could we brighten it up a bit or what? A thing that I always do, and I just mentioned it earlier, is I make their heads bigger. Our head is very expressive, as you can see, and uh, it needs to be more visible. So uh, we need just his head. His head is a little blurry. I wonder if my... I think my camera has depth of field. Yeah, depth of field. I'll turn this off. And there are some problems with his hair, but we don't care about that. Okay, we're almost there. Something like that, right? Is that big enough? That's a big dome. Make it a little bit bigger. The perfect dome. Okay, almost done. We're just gonna fix this little dot here. And now, the final piece. I'm gonna show you the secret sauce. I got this from Guzu, of course. The Omae wa mo shinderu eyes. You can't really go overboard with the Omae wa mo shinderu eyes, because uh, 
It looks weird. But you can definitely add a little bit of personality. Something like this. I kind of like this. This looks good. Like his eyes have flames. I mean, I could even add flames to his eyes, but <sighs> if we're going down that road, boys, we're never coming back. Trust me, I, I, I go down that road. I just don't, I just, it just never ends. This is kind of it. Now we just gotta make him pop a little bit more and we're actually done. We're gonna give him an outer glow to make it pop a little more. The outer glow cannot be very visible though. It has to be very subtle. So usually it's black, not high opacity and big size. Okay, fire. Yes, fire. There's a lot of fire. All this fire can be added very nicely. Very seamless. With this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, yes, I like this. Oh, this looks good actually, I like this. Maybe there's fire coming out of the chest. Look at that. Somehow, suddenly we have a brand new concept. Now we're getting to the point where I'm going too far again. I'll try to stop myself if I go too far. One quick thing, I just want one quick thing. I want there to be like something coming out of here as well. I don't want it to be fire though. Maybe I make it more purple. Oh, so good. Okay, the purple content is coming out. Oh, this is good, we did it. Okay, and literally the last thing, the literal last thing. We make a new layer on top and we go with a massive, massive brush. Final secret sauce. And everything that is not the point of, uh, yeah, ruined, I know. Everything that's not the main focal point gets blackened out. And everything that is gets like a, a, a white splash. So we want to see his face, we want to see this, and that's about it. Everything else is not very important. Okay, and now we go overlay. And it's a bit much right now. Actually, we also want to see him kind of kicking it, so... Him kicking it is kind of important. Okay, and now we go like 20%-ish. And I don't know if you noticed this, but some kind, like a little bit, look, if I turn it on and off. So like it puts a bit more emphasis on those parts. And that's it. I don't like this uh, bright white thing in the back being so bright, but uh, let's just do that really fast. All right, that's my thumbnail. Gentlemen, ladies, I've been recording this for over an hour. Uh, there's no way I just upload. I was going to just upload it like that. Just like that, I wanted to tell you mainly about Blender and uh, tutorials. Uh, I'll have a link to everything down in the description if I upload this. But yeah, this is my thumbnail. Make sure you click this video. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, I guess. This is going to be my emergency video. If I post this, then you know I'm uh, in a severe lack of content. But uh, much love, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new adventure. Peace.